What's up, pups? It's JR, and welcome back to Silent Hill. In the last episode, the game has completely worn me down, and uh, we walked around in the Nightmare Hospital for the nth time. We picked up, I think, a grand total of 13 different MacGuffins was the uh, final number of that. And then uh, we got insta-killed by a random cutscene that I would have no context would be an insta-kill otherwise. So now we have to run all the way back and do everything we did in the last episode again, because I made the choice. Okay, I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna reload after that. Because uh, I made the active choice to... Alright, I guess this just died. Because I made the active choice to not save throughout the entirety of me, of me doing that, so I would come back with full HP. Wow, you really do not do a whole lot of damage, do you? How have you not killed me yet? Really? Alright. Surely the next one will kill me. There we go. Okay, so the nurses do, like, no damage, noted. So, I made the active choice. Uh, oh, wow, that is how aiming works, huh? I like how the hints are randomized. We now have to do everything again. Ideally, I, I go through this without getting hit, and uh, that way I have full HP for whatever goes forward, and I get to uh, keep all of my materials and such. Material, crocodile, alligator, I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. I'm obviously not gonna make you make y'all watch me go through this entire place again. I'll basically only pop in when I experience something new or have something to say. And currently, the uh, thing I have to say is that Regardless of how long this is going to take, this will be the final episode of Silent Hill. Purely because I don't think I'll be able to withstand another episode of playing this game. Unfortunately. Very, very unfortunately. My opinion of uh, the original Silent Hill is now primarily negative because this has been an absolute slog. As I mentioned in the last episode, I think the first 40% of the game is really good, really spooky. The back 60%, which I am currently in now, is primarily tedious puzzles, enemy bloat, and just kind of arbitrary choices on what you actually have to get. So I'm not particularly enjoying this game anymore, and that makes me a little bit upset. I can see why uh, anyone, like whenever anyone talks about Silent Hill, they always talk about Silent Hill 2 and never Silent Hill 1, even though it's the first game. Because, wowee, this, uh, this here game, uh, ain't that great. I can totally see someone, like, playing this for the first time, especially nowadays, and really getting hooked if they're, like, a, like, a big, uh, a big horror fan, really getting hooked by the first, I wanna say, like, three hours of the game, they're like, oh man, this is awesome, and then they get, like, halfway through, like, maybe, like, just after the hospital, or maybe even the hospital itself, and they're just like, oh, huh. Okay, and then they drop the game forever. But I'm going to try my best to not be super negative, and I'm going to uh, just try my best to experience the game going forward and uh, withhold my largely negative opinions just to try and preserve the, uh, the mood just a little bit. So I just had a thought. I've never tried because most of these cutscenes I had been seeing for the first time are cutscenes skippable, or do I have to go through this whole nonsense with, with Lisa again? Harry? Huh. I was honestly not expecting the cutscenes to be skippable. Alright, well, there's, there's, there's some bonus points for Silent Hill. You have skippable cutscenes, very cool. Um, I should probably clear out the other rooms just in case stuff changes after I do the, uh... I do the puzzles. Wait, I remember... I remember getting health juice somewhere. That might be uh, crossing wires in my mind. So I guess we'll just go ahead and do the astrology puzzle, which has nothing to do with astrology and is just numbers. <sighs> oh. Oh. Whatever, we can take one hit, it's fine. Right, that gave me the... The time slat thing. And I'm still not gonna save just purely because I can get back to the spot really quickly. Once I'm back to where I was in the last episode, I'm going to, uh, I'm, I am going to pop a save even if I'm like missing HP. Just so I don't have to do this again. Eve Haggith, which is the double doors, leads to the elevator. I need to go to this third floor first, but I am going to the second floor just to like clear it out and pick up any supplies that might be there. I can't remember if there was, so we'll, we'll go there and find out. Oh. 
That was cool. I actually uh, caught her in the nick of time, so I didn't take any damage. Nice. Right, no, I didn't need to go to the third floor first. It's just that's the puzzle I need to solve first. Because I needed to come to the second floor to get the camera to do the light puzzle. I think I actually just remember what this one was. Yep. And then this one had the health juice, right? Yeah. Okay, so once I grab the, I believe the Phaleg key from the bird cage, I'll pop a save, because that should be back to where I was. It should be through the Phaleg corridor that has the, uh, the insta-kill cutscene that I just need to entirely ignore, which I'm still very happy about. So, for the time being, we are actually back. We have made back all the progress. Man, it is crazy how much less time it takes to get through this game when you actually know what to do. Most of this, most of this game's, like, gameplay is just knocking about in the dark trying to figure out what the hell to do. Beethor. Ah, oh, cool. Yes, the, uh, unavoidable, unkillable child. That's really cool. That's a good thing we picked up that health juice. Any more insta-kill cutscenes you want to throw at me? Ghost of Cheryl! Spooky! Alright. An Ankh! Cool. I wonder how this is gonna insta-kill me. Elliptical talisman with a cross inside. Cool. I wonder how that's gonna come back and bite me in the ass. I'm probably gonna turn around, try to open this door, and then Cheryl's gonna stab me in the throat. What about this door? Any insta-kills in here? Wow, that's a good angle. Thank you, L1. L2. Uh, gurney with straps. Health juice! Oh, it's the storage room. Yeah, I remember this place. Wonky wonky, give me that health juice. I damn well deserve it after this bullshit. And a magazine? What are those? Jelly beans! Do you want to open the bag? No. No, I don't. Not that I have trust issues now because- You know what? I just saved. So let's see what- let's see what happens. I can use some jelly beans. And then it sucks me inside and I insta-die. Oh no, there's just... There's a... There's a key of Beethor. Okay, there's a- there's a key inside jelly beans. Cool. Anything in here? Health juice, perhaps? Supplies? The VCR? VCR's still here. I wonder if the, uh, the VHS does anything different. Seeing how I still have it. Do it! Do it now! Oh, it is different. Still has an unusually high fever. Eyes don't open. Getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. Her skin is all charred. Even when I change the bandages, the blood and pus just start oozing through. Why? What is keeping that child alive? can't stand it any longer. I won't tell a soul. Promise. So please. Hmm. Peculiar. So assuming that's talking about Cheryl, uh, it sounded to me like she was in a pretty, pretty bad fire. So I'm going to say that we got in a pretty bad car wreck and our car, you know, lit on fire. And, uh, and then she got stuck in the fire, and I'm now dealing with the guilt of my daughter being dead. Because of my poor driving. That's what I'm gonna say. I totally missed those handgun bullets. Look at me not being observant just because I'm a little bit angry at this game. <laughs> okay, so we have the key of Beethor now. But I want to check these other rooms, just in case they happen to have anything inside them. Lord, oh, this is, this is a save point. That's a... I don't know why you would bother having a save point here, because there's a save point literally 15 seconds and two loading screens away from here, but three loading screens, but whatevs. Cards are scattered on the floor. Cool, that's not what I'm looking at. Anything on here? Nope. Bug collection, that's interesting. Drawings. A child's drawings are scattered on the floor. 
Alright, cool. None of this stuff is any use. Nice. This to me looks like, uh, it might be Cheryl's room, judging from the, uh, yeah, child's room. Judging from the, uh, the, the child clothes on, hanging on the wall. Then again, Alessa and, uh, Cheryl are, are wearing the same outfit. Presumably it's like, you know, a school uniform or something, so. Then again, knowing Silent Hill, they're probably the same person. Thou possess them to guard thy spirit, evoke five rites unto unveil thy fate. Okay, so... No, I don't. Just, I want the text to go away. Alright, so... The Amulet of Solomon, the Ankh, that's probably the ring, and the, uh, the, 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 the whatever. And then the dagger in the middle. However, if I grab the dagger, I get insta-killed, so what do you want from me? If I plug in everything right now, it, like, pacifies the tentacle monster. Nothing else. Might as well. Crest of Mercury, that was the one I was forgetting. And the Ring of Contract. Oh, can't use here. So there is another mystery item. Oh, can I not inspect it anymore? Great. Well, there's another mystery item on top of the uh, Dagger of Melchior, or whatever the hell it was. I guess we'll pop another save, just cuz. Oh, right, Beethor! I forgot. We have the key of Beethor now, so we can go into that room that's uh, by the, uh, the Shadow Child. I think this was out. Uh, no, this is the insta-kill room. No, thank you. This is the key of Beethor. The generator room! Do I get a yet more upgraded hammer? No, because, uh, I already know this is the strongest melee weapon in the game. The generator's working. Do you want to press the switch? Sure. Turn that shit off! Alright, cool. What did that do? Is the refrigerator off so the... So the tentacle monster isn't doing anything anymore? Oh, wait! No, 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 no! I mentioned this in the last episode. We, we can probably head up to get the key that was electrified now, because it's no longer electrified. So, floor two is what we want. Elevator doesn't appear to be working. Great. Um... That was Phalag, so we are on level one. This elevator is the one we want. Because now we can... Right, I turned off the... I turned off the power. Of course it wouldn't work. That was a, a thing that was my bad that I did. Oh, good. Great. Yee. I think it was this back one. Yeah, yeah, yeah there we go. Alright, give me that key. Key of Eratron. Take it? Sure. I don't know where there was an Eratron. So... That's good. Maybe the key of Eratron has, like, it's now spawned somewhere. Yeah, cool. Very cool game. Uh, how am I supposed to ever do anything about those kids? I don't know. <sighs> well, there's more of them now. Back to fail, I suppose. Are you Aerotron? Alright, you are Aerotron. Going according to plan, sheltered in the womb. But it's not done yet. <laughs> Half the soul is lost. That is why the seed lies dormant. And what soul remains captured in that husk is buried deep down in the subconscious. Are you trying to say it won't work? That wasn't our agreement. No, no, these are just stalling tactics. 
If we lend a hand, we will be able to get power. Never fear, the promise shall not be broken. But the power we could draw now will be very weak. Almost nothing. That guy's voice kicks Unless ass. We get the other half of the soul. We'll use a magical spell. Feeling this child's pain, it's sure to come. But that will take time. Alright, cool. So go figure, Kaufman was in on whatever the fuck was going on. Alessa. Disc of Ouroboros. That's what that was. Gotcha. I know what Ouroboros is. It's the snake eating its own tail. So, I have the disc of Ouroboros now. So I'm just gonna assume. <sighs> Do you go away if I turn my light off? No, you don't. It did kind of look like it was just kind of meandering around, but I don't. I'm not sure. Uh, other door. No, that's the. Uh, that's the insta kill door. This the one? No. We'll find it. We'll get there. Back one. There we go. So, I'm only gonna presume that the moment I put Ouroboros in here... Now I can get the... the, the dagger of Melchior. Yeah, I'm just gonna save. I don't... It, I have the other saves if I wanna, like, reload and try to get health back if it's absolutely necessary. So let's go give it a shot. See if the... the funky tentacle monster wants to insta-kill me now. The unkillable, nigh-guaranteed damage is really, really cool. The chain is missing a link. I just had an idea. No. What if we put the Dagger of Contract there? No, the Ring of Contract. Yeah, there we go. Chain is fixed. Give me the Dagger. Cool. See you later. Yeah, go fuck yourself, insta-kill fridge. I'm better than you. I'm smarter than you. I knew more than you. I'm just gonna let the kid kill me so I can come back with full HP and just walk past him. That did confirm my suspicion, though, where it is not on a timer. I do- uh, not on a timer. It is not on a timer. I have to actually struggle out so me pressing buttons does do stuff. So now let's see if we can get past the, uh... The unavoidable, unkillable shadow child. See if I can uh, get through this door with uh, with full HP. Is the is it in there? Yeah, it is. Just barely. All right. Ring of contract. Give me the dagger of Melchior. Now oh, these cutscenes are unskippable. Cry about it, loser. Okay, I'm gonna break left, and like, yeah, there we go. Nope, yeah, it's just, if he's running down, if he's running down the middle of the hallway, he's completely unavoidable. Great, whatever, whatever, I don't care. Saving again. All right, dagger of Melchior, the object of my chagrin. Get me in there. Oh, sorry. Get me in there. Do what mommy tells you now. Oh, that is Alessa, not, not just um, want you Cheryl. To send me a teeny bit of your power. That's all. No. <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> mommy just needs a little bit of your power. It you can have the rest. Everyone happy, and it's for your own good too. Oh, but mommy, I just want to be with you. Just two of us. Please understand. Oh, yes, I see. 
Maybe mommy has been wrong. That is how a six-year-old would talk. <laughs> Why didn't I see this before? There's no reason to wait. Herein lies the mother's womb, containing the power to create life. I could have done it all myself. Mommy? Cool, whatever the fuck she was uh, babbling on about, it's probably gross. Get me in there! Jammed. What about this one? Jammed. Cool, going downstairs. Where the bunkle nuts is this? Because this, this is a new area. I certainly haven't gone down no stairs with no banister and such. Not in my time in this game. I feel like that, that walk down really didn't need to be that long, but whatevs. I'm, I'm just nitpicking at this point. I'm, I'm just finding stuff to complain about. <laughs> Hi! Well, well, well. To think you'd make it this far. Where's Cheryl? What have you done to her? What are you talking about? Don't you recognize I've her? I've seen her many times restored to her former self. I'm in no mood for jokes. <laughs> Tell me about it. Don't you see? She's she started with don't. I was about to. <laughs> That's absurd. You are the only one who thinks so. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Why are you doing this? It's been a long seven years. For the seven years since that terrible day. Alessa has been kept alive, suffering a fate worse than death. Alessa has been trapped in an endless nightmare from which she never awakens. He has been nurtured by that nightmare, waiting for the day to be born. Samael? That day has finally come. The time is nigh. You spelled nigh wrong. Everyone will be released from pain and suffering. Our salvation is at hand. This is the day of reckoning. When all our sorrows will be washed away. When we return to the true paradise, my daughter will be the mother of God. Wow. So is Alessa Cheryl or was that thing in the wheelchair Cheryl? I'm a little bit confused on that. Whatever the hell that is. Alright, hold on. Like, yeah, we'll just sit here for a little bit. So that thing in the wheelchair was Cheryl. And then the the, the, the kid they've been calling Alessa was a separate thing. And then they needed the two to make God, I guess? Sure. Um, I'm going to assume... Alright, we have two rounds. Or... Okay. Okay. We have two magazines on backup, and a, and a magazine in the gun. We have a fully loaded shotgun, and then a fully loaded rifle, and four magazines on backup. If, if this isn't enough, I'm gonna complain. Start off with the GAT, purely because we don't know it when we're gonna damage phase. Hi. Ow. Okay, 
Okay, now I'm just gonna run around and see if I can avoid it that way. Nope. Okay. Time to figure out uh, the... Uh, it'll be over, I'm sorry. But yeah, whatever, I don't, I don't care. So, time to figure out whatever the hell the... Uh, the time frame is for this. And what I'm supposed to do to avoid said uh, electricity. Maybe if I stand by the cage, since it's like electrified and or magnetic, Dahlia. not magnetic. Do not tell me this cutscene is unskippable. Okay, it, it just it just had a hitch for a second. So as per usual, with every new boss fight, uh, we're gonna run directly at her and right the force field. Man, I wanna bonkst. Okay, it missed the it missed me there for a second. I think Nope. Okay, well I guess let's just heal. And reload while we're at it. And now we're going to pull up Silent Hill Memories and uh, figure out what the absolute fuck we're supposed to do about the lightning. Actually, before... When the light is turned off, accuracy with the gun goes down. Shut up. Okay, so before I resort to Silent Hill Memories, I'm going to check my inventory just in case I have something that could potentially, you know, protect me from the lightning. Maybe the flower rose. I, I, I can't remember if I still have the flower rose, but maybe. I don't know. That's an idea. All right, what do we have? Uh, camera, receipt, videotape, radio, and then no other MacGuffins. All right, let's get the rifle then and just shoot the hell out of her. And then we're going to heal, just so I survive. Oh. Yep, we're looking up Silent Hill Memories. Ooh. We're going to figure out what, what, like, what the actual fuck we're supposed to do about the, uh... About, uh, about the lightning. Maybe, here's here's another theory while I look this up. Maybe when she's charging up, the force field goes down and I can stand next to her. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, nowhere. If you and Kaufman found the vial in the resort area, he'll make an entrance to alter things here, making you fight the Incubus, which is, more, is the more menacing demon creature with wings. Okay, so apparently I missed something in... Uh, in the resort area, but I, I couldn't I, I couldn't give less of a fuck. Alright, so we're getting the bad ending. Unlike the flying incubus, incubus, the incubator stands at Harry's level in the center of the arena, but otherwise the fight is near identical due to it using the same lightning strikes. Although this time it's blue colored. Ooh. To start, uh, start things off, unload five to six rifle shots to empty the rifle, and then prepare to run in a circle around it as it fires blue lightning at you. It can be very difficult to avoid and nearly impossible sometimes. Uh, and nearly impossible sometimes on hard. So if it does hit you, immediately empty your inventory and heal to full health. Once you return to the game uh, after healing, the lightning will continue to strike you, but will deal no more damage since you already healed during the attack. Use this trick to your advantage throughout. Okay, so there's no trick to avoiding it. You just you just have to get lucky. But apparently you can iframe by healing in the middle of an attack. Unfortunately, I only have one med pack, so one of All right, let's fully fully load the rifle. Clip it.
Oh, there's an idea. I can use the stagger from running into the force field to avoid, whoa, reload animation. Haven't seen those before. Yeah, okay, so uh, on top of the running around in circles thing, I can apparently uh, iframe by staggering. If I get the timing right, it seems like it uh, actually works. D All right, rifle. So let's just try running around in circles to see. Yeah, okay, now it, 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 the, the force field looks like it's more reliable. This is an incredibly good boss fight. <laughs> like, insanely good. So maybe we'll just... We'll just give it a shot with the, uh, the running around in circles strat. I trust Silent Hill memories more than I trust this game at all, so... And then we go back in, and then we reload for the instant. And now we run around in circles. It looks like, actually, it's sort of like Aldrich's, like, Aerostorm for Dark Souls 3. It looks like it doesn't corner well. I think I'm starting to get it. And then back out. And then reload. Yeah! It doesn't corner well. Shotgun time. Daddy. Cheryl. Thank you, Daddy. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Can't leave like this. This can't be happening. Cheryl? Cheryl? Wow. When they said I would get the bad ending, I figured it would have been like 
No, this is the this is a catastrophic outcome. Look at what you've done. The world is doomed. Not it's the bad ending because nothing happens. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, uh... I'm not going all the way back to the resort area to get the vial. Whatever the fuck that, uh, Silent Hill memory was talking about. I'm not playing through this game again. So, I'm just gonna wrap this up and give my review of the game. Monster Designer, ooh. So... Uh, that was Silent Hill 1. Uh, as I've mentioned multiple times at this point, the first 40% of the game was really, 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 really good. I really liked it. The back 60% was a fucking slog. And I can't imagine... I can't imagine the good endings any better. You know, after I'm done here, I'll look up the good ending, just so we get, get something. Just to see if something happens. Sorry, I, I burped out of rage. So, with my experience, including this bad ending, uh, story, uh, it was convoluted, I didn't fully understand it, but, uh, I thought I understood it for a little bit, because I have a general idea of how Silent Hill is now, at least, but for the most part, the first one seemed like it was really literal. And it reminds me of a lot of the later movies that I haven't seen, but I've seen, like, reviews and synopsis of, where they really focus on the Silent Hill is, uh, like, it's relating to a cult. It's a physical place and has to do with a cult, and there's demons and stuff, which I think is significantly less interesting than the situation with Silent Hill 2, where Silent Hill isn't necessarily a physical location. It is, like... What's the way I describe it to a friend? It is a manifestation of inner tor uh, turmoil and, like, despair, trauma, and other stuff like that. That's the Silent Hill I like. However, this first game, it seems like it is going the route of, no, it's demons, it's evil, it's a cult. Oh. So I did get in a car wreck, so n never mind, I guess it wasn't a physical place. Oh, it's doing like a fucking post-credits wrap-up. Okay, whatever. Wait, so... <laughs> I thought it would be like the names of the voice actors, and it just so happened that Lisa had the same first name as her character, but no, it's <laughs> it's literally going through all of them, and just- oh my fucking god. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I kind of expected I needed to do something specific to get, like, a goofy ending, but... Like, with the dog ending in Silent Hill 2, but... <laughs> this is fine. This is funny. I appreciate this. A little bit of comedic relief after all of the bullshit I had to deal with. Okay, so, I guess that, I guess I was wrong, Silent Hill is still, like, a manifestation of inner turmoil and everything, it's not a physical location. Oh, a, a result screen, cool. Mode, normal, game clear, one, bad ending, 51 saves, that seems about right, 18 continues, I only died 18 times, so that's good. Uh, took me almost 8 hours to complete, I walked 11 kilometers, I ran 12 kilometers, there's 204 items?! Oh my god, I'm assuming most of those are supplies, but I'd imagine a good amount of them are MacGuffins. I, I bonked 196 enemies, I killed 47, shooting style. Uh, I'm guessing that's my accuracy? Or does that add up to a hunt, like... I can't see. 
What do you mean, no aiming shots? You have to aim. Alright, whatever. D wait a minute! I just realized there's a jerry can and, like, an impact drill or something back there, and there's a chainsaw, so you can get the chainsaw! Is it okay to save? Next game mode, hard. Sure. Making a separate save. Next fear. Oh, is it booting me up into New Game Plus now? I guess we'll watch this, like, intro cutscene now, since we've never done it before. And I presume now it's probably just going to go through the various cutscenes, so... Uh, anyway, um... With the whole... We'll go back to the, 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 the... My review. So, the story was convoluted. I thought I understood it. I thought I didn't understand it. I thought I understood it. And now I'm back to... I'm not fully sure if I understand it. Uh, but then again, that's just kind of the situation with Silent Hill. You're not going to fully understand it unless, like, you really take your time to think about it and, like, break it down by yourself. Which I might do on my own time, but for the time being, I feel like I kind of get it. Where, again, Silent Hill is in a physical location, it's a manifestation of inner turmoil or whatever, and that last, like, post credit scene before the goofiness, uh, that really kind of looked like I was right, where I got into a car accident, Cheryl died, I'm real upset about everything, but it looks like in the bad ending, uh, I don't come to terms with what happened, and either um, it implies that I died, but it doesn't actually show that I died, and then in the bad ending, I actually just straight up die, or maybe in the good ending, I go on living. I don't know, but either way, uh, story... I kind of got, like, super uninterested in the back half of the game, and I'm not sure if that's because of bad writing or just an uninteresting plot, or if it's just because I was kind of sick of the game. So, for fairness sake, we'll give the story a 5. Gameplay? Ugh. Ugh. The tank controls, the arbitrary bullshit, the insta-kill cutscenes that... Oh! Well, actually, the... The, that actually kind of told us what happened then. So we did get into a cutscene. Alessa tried to run away, or, you know, that was just some kid walking across the highway, which caused it to swirl out the road, and then presumably Cheryl died. Uh, that answers some questions. Once we go to the, uh, the watch the, uh, the gun ending and whatnot, we'll probably have some more insight. But for the time being, stories of five, just to be fair. Gameplay? I want to give it, like, a two. <laughs> So I think I'm going to. Like, the, the gameplay is so bad. <laughs> it w I was like, okay, you know what? It's, it's a product of its time. It's not going to be the best thing in the world. I wonder if I go to the options screen if it won't, like, pull up the, uh, the menu. So we'll just stare at the options screen for a little bit. So, just... The tank controls, the sl just the s extra sluggish controls, running into enemies that are unavoidable, running into however many flying enemies that you can only shoot, so they're going to you are going to lose ammo if you fight them. You're gonna lose health if you try to run away because they'll probably get one or two bites in on you. The civil boss fight was just walk around for like 15 minutes shooting everything you have at her. The the final boss fight was. For the most part, run around and hope you don't get hit. I did kind of figure out how the lightning thought, but I still got hit once or twice when I figured it out. So it seems largely just kind of random whether you get hit or not. Just like, oh my, yeah, you know what? No, I'm giving the gameplay a two. I'll probably just have the like graphic up and just leave it on two, but like, stories of five, gameplay is a two. So. Let's see, that would make this around like a f like a 3.5 or a 4. <laughs> oh my god. And I thought of the games I'm going to play for Let's Plays and Reviews, that Bioshock 2 would have like the lowest review. Uh, nah. <laughs> 
I, I want to give it the benefit of the doubt and give it the higher score of four, but just be just out of spite, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it the lower. So, Silent Hill one, a blistering right out of the gate. It is a three point five out of ten. Wow, I don't recommend you play this game. Feel free to watch it, sort of like how you did now. Feel free to watch other people play it. Feel free to watch like, you know just like a no commentary playthrough out of it if you want to like really tangentially experience it not tangentially vicariously experience it uh i appreciate if you watch this series from the very beginning to now uh you probably had to bear through this just as much as i did in which case you're a fucking trooper and before we go to the uh the the good ending and see what the fuck that was um housed abouts we do the Patreon thing, because uh, it's like an hour in. I still have a half hour left, so it's it, this is kind of partway through the video, so we'll do it. A huge thanks to my patrons, Zonra and Winterbreeze. Your support is always very much appreciated. If you also want to support me, you can do so for just $5 a month on Patreon, and you'll get a bunch of cool perks, like work-in-progress art, full-resolution art, thumbnail art, and most importantly, early access to videos. Though, in Spooktober, the early access isn't really impactful because of just how I do things, where I just kind of constantly upload videos as much as I want, and I don't have a schedule, but... For regular videos outside of specifically the month of October, you'll get videos multiple days in advance usually. And if there's any complications with that, I will be sure to post on my Twitter or my X, whichever one you want, which is always linked in my link tree alongside my Patreon. And if it's like a really important thing I need to bring up, like this video is gone and I can't do it anymore, I will post to Patreon as well to say like, hey, this is what's happening, sorry. But aside from that, you'll get full resolution art, work in progress art, thumbnail art, and early access to videos. And eventually, when I get enough patrons, maybe 10 or 15, I am going to start taking suggestions for games to play from my patrons, because presumably then I'll just kind of have enough money to buy whatever game they want me to play. Once again, a huge thank you to my pa current patrons, Zonra and Winterbreeze. You're always appreciated. I love having you here. And uh, I think as just a special little treat, how about we look at the other endings for this game? Pardon me one second while well, I should have a display capture. Yeah, there we go. I have a display capture, so I can just kind of do that. So let me let me let me pull up a, a YouTube video real quick. 4K, Silent Hill 1, final boss, all endings from Jericudo. Do you have commentary, Jericudo? Uh does not look like it. Alright, cool. So a, a preemptive thank you to the channel Jericudo for this video they posted two years ago. Very, uh, very, very cool of you. Uh, we will be using this video to show off the other endings. Uh, and once again, that channel is Jericudo, which I can just kind of pull Opera over here. And you can see down here, Jericudo, 18,000 subscribers. Shout outs to them. So let's see if I can full screen this and, and be fine. Yeah, it looks like it. All right. Endings. I was shocked to realize that oh, they're in widescreen. Was being used. What? In spite of the lost soul returning at last. Just a little longer and all would have been for naught. So you could have not killed Sybil, that wasn't... All because of that man. We must be thankful to him. Even though Alessa has been stopped, his little girl has to go. What a pity. Could you play as Sybil? Oh, maybe this is New Game Plus. That'd be cool. Freeze! <laughs> what in the devil's name? Dahlia. Well, well, well. And is this the one that we got? Oh, this is the Kaufman one. Hold on. There we go. Le gasp, le shock. Hey, Kaufman. Return things to how they were before. Kaufman. Kaufman. Did I ask for this? No. I didn't ask for this. Me. You won't get away with this. <laughs> you won't get away with. This. I love Kaufman's voice. I really do. We don't need you anymore. What do you think? Coming here. My, aren't we getting cocky? Bet you can't see this into your pool. 
behold. A I thought I got rid of that. The Glophidus. You all made it so easy. <laughs> ah, you're easy. <laughs> and there's more where this came from. Okay, I'm I'm boop I'm I'm bringing up the overall rating to a four purely for Calvin. He's the best. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh man, I'm kind of upset I didn't get this ending now. And we, there we go. Game. And the winner is Doctor Kaufman. What's up with all my Smash references recently? That's a fun noise. Ooh, Squidgy. This must be the Incubus. Why I'm super upset I didn't fight this thing. Red Lightning. Now that's a cool monster. Boss Samael. All right, uh, do we watch? Uh, let's let's see how. Like, Silent Hill Memories said this boss fight wouldn't be any different, but we'll, we'll go ahead and for for Jared Kudo's sake, for for uh, as thanks for using their video, uh, we'll go ahead and see how this plays out. It actually looks like it's easier, because I don't think he can zap under him. Then again, it could be uh, Jericudo is just an absolute chat. I think it's because the force field isn't there, you can turn tighter. And as I mentioned, the lightning can't like corner well. Yeah, Jericudo! No hit run, love it. Good plus ending. Silent Hill Memories did mention there was good and good plus and bad and bad plus. So I presume I was correct in my assumption, and this was New Game Plus that Jericudo is uh, is playing. I wish to see the baby. Your own personal antichrist. Congratulations, Mason. You're a father. Or would this be Grandad? Ah, yes, I, I think my, uh, my assumption was correct, and we did both die in that car crash. But this is like, he's in purgatory. Oh, and Sybil's fine. Right, she didn't get shot 13 times over the course of 15 minutes. 13,000 times over 15 minutes. And now everybody goes to heaven. Especially Kaufman, he deserves it. Absolute Chad. Love this guy. This is a weird angle. Oh, Lisa.
Wait, Kaufman, no. You were like the character I liked. Only after I finished the game and pulled up someone else's video. <laughs> Hold that baby in a really insecure way. You, uh, don't, make sure, really make sure that you do not trip or else that baby's done for. And credits. All right, that, that was a pretty cool ending. Oh yeah, and probably the post credit scene, huh? What do you got for me, Jericudo? Yep, that was New Game Plus. Let's see what Jericudo- Jericudo did that in almost half the time that I did. Damn, there's a katana? <laughs> wow. 202- oh, out of 204, Jericudo, look at you go. Oh, I didn't even notice the star rank at the, at the bottom. I probably got like a two-star rating. Okay, um... We'll be the mother extras, alternate God. boss Alessa. So that was... Yeah, this is this is the one I did. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. So assuming Jericudo is the Giga Chad that they seem to be, they got 164 out of 204 items. So assuming they got everything, that means I got everything for the bad ending, right? Hmm. Then again, they could be speed running it and uh, just not bother grabbing like healing items and stuff, which I suppose is possible. Either way, I'm gonna say that I did good and I grabbed everything I possibly could. This can't be happening. Cheryl? Cheryl? Bad plus ending. Oh, different music. Alright, well, as good as the music sounds, I am going to skip ahead to see uh, what the uh, post credit scene for the bad plus ending is. If there is one. Oh, wow, they're really going for it, aren't they? There we go. Wait, how's Sybil alive if this is... Is this a separate thing? Harry. Snap out of it. Go. Oh, I get it. This is an extra cutscene tacked on after the uh, after the bad pl the bad ending. Yeah, there we go. 164 items again. Well, wow, they are consistent. So I'm gonna say that I did get all of the items I possibly could for the bad ending. Interesting that there's a katana though. All right, and good ending. So, judging from how they chop this up, I presume they're probably the same, but it's just like this last little bit that changes. Or shows up at all in case of the bad ending. I get it now. Okay, so the difference between New Game and New Game Plus is probably Sybil makes it out as well. Alright, yeah, yeah, good, good Silent Hill music, that's, the universal constant, I understand. I can watch the credits a million times. A 
582 items for the uh, for the new game ending. And there seems to be another. Wait. Oh yeah, the funny ending. Yay. Damn, I was too late. Wait, this is at the lighthouse. Channeling stone, a, myst a mystical stone possessing power. If used somewhere, the result will be. That's what the that's what the the blue like amulet thing was. It was the it was the key item to get the goofy ending. That light. Ookie ookie ookie. Am I gonna see some PS1 grays? Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> womp, womp, womp. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Let me ask you have you seen a little girl around here? Short black hair. <laughs> <laughs> Quelec, get the probulator ready. <laughs> oh, Silent Hill with your goofy endings. <laughs> That's fun. So, seeing as how the, uh, And that's just the wrap-up at the end. All right. So, uh, big thank you to uh, Jericudo for posting this video. And uh, big shout-outs to them. I'll link them in the, in the description as well, just for, you know, posterity's sake. I did, you know, just kind of take their whole video. Let, let, let's, let's pull up my... Let's, let's pull up my screen again, just so I have my own, my own footage. Thank you. Very cool. Once again, shout-out to Jericudo, just for posterity's sake. Okay. So, seeing as how the, uh, the channeling stone, or whatever it was, um, only popped up, in like the new game plus endings where with the wrap up with like the katana and stuff i'd presume that the uh goofy alien ending is probably on only available in new game plus which uh i'm not gonna play this game again i don't know about i don't know about y'all feel free to play through this game twice if you want to get those endings but i'm not doing it i'm not playing through this game again uh, uh i'm probably never gonna i'm probably never going to touch this game again i had such a slog such a horrible time with the back, like, 60% of this game. It, it, it was just, I hated it. Okay, well, uh, anyway, with that being said, Silent Hill 1 is a 4 out of 10, was a 3.5, but purely because, apparently I forgot to mute my phone, whatever, purely because uh, Kaufman is the best character, apparently, and I'm a little bit upset that I didn't get that uh, that ending, but whatever. Uh, we got a 4 out of 10 game here. Uh, it's really impressive that this spawned a franchise, because, like, Jesus Christ. But because it spawned a franchise, that means we got the infinitely better Silent Hill 2, so I won't complain. And then, you know, we had the chance to get Silent Hills, also known as PT, but uh, then uh, Konami and everything, that's not happening. But, hey, event, we are getting something Silent Hill related soon-ish, potentially, maybe, we don't know, with the uh, remake of Silent Hill 2, which, if that's out by next Spooktober, I might, I might just end up playing that. And I could play the original Silent Hill 2, but just for algorithm's sake, if that happens to be, happens to, like, line up, and, you know, I have the money to do so, I will probably end up playing the Silent Hill 2 remake. That'll be horrifying, because it'll actually be really good graphics, because it's a remake, and it's gonna be a new game. But, for the time being, I see why everyone talks about Silent Hill 2, because Silent Hill 1 is rough. It is so rough. Which, it's a PlayStation 1 game, and it's the first entry in an entire franchise, it's gonna be rough. But, with all that being said, there's going to be one more video. One more video this spooktober and it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun one it's gonna be a trip down memory lane i had this idea in the end of the last episode and i think it's gonna be a really fun idea so stick around spooktober's not over just yet i will see you on halloween night for that special video but for the time being our silent hill series comes to a close and i'm going to end this video here if you genuinely enjoyed this video and this series, consider dropping it a like. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to become a pup if you haven't already, and to hit the bell so it actually does something. 
And if you want to support me in the channel, consider becoming a patron for just $5 a month and you'll get a bunch of cool perks. My name's JR, and I will see you guys in the next one.